So today on Weird Shit and Trippy's Gun Cabinet, we're going to be looking at a Kentrek KBP-1. The rifle here is one of two models they produced, one of which having the scope mount, and the other which had two somewhat cheap plastic A1 sights. The rifle was only made for one year in 1991, and only about a thousand of them were produced because, well, nobody bought them. And if I'm being honest here, there's a good reason for it. The guns are kind of poorly designed. For instance, the grip safety located here, it takes about 15 to 16 pounds of force to engage. And it doesn't fit flush, so you're always getting that jamming into your hand. The charging handle for the rifle is located back here. And there's honestly no convenient way to pull it back. A neat feature, however, the gun can be set up to either eject out the right and down as it is now, or by closing this, it will eject out the bottom. The gun feeds from these supposedly 17 round magazines. However, I've only got it to function reliably loading these up with 16. On the mag, you can see this little plastic tab right here that is rather flimsy, and if it breaks, your $150 mag is completely worthless. Now, an odd thing about these mags are that they use a coil spring from the top. Okay, great. That seems like a nifty idea. But they forgot to put any type of covering over the bottom here, so they're kind of susceptible to dust and dirt. Overall, though, it's not hard to see how this weapon was as sold as poorly as it did. It's not the best design. It's not the most ergonomic. And, if I'm being honest, not the most reliable. But, it's weird, and there's less than a thousand of them, and I have to have it. Expect a shooting video of it soon.